guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in if it's your first time here i'm vicky baloi and welcome and if you are returning welcome back um back again with another vlog and we are back to regular programming so this is like the first vlog just after the travel vlogs or the bali vlogs i hope that you guys loved them as much as i enjoyed editing like i had so much fun reliving those moments through editing and posting reading your comments it was so much fun i loved it thank you so much to everyone who watched who interacted really really appreciate it i'm quite in a rush as you guys can see i'm in the car and my hair is a mess i just took um i just took out the braid i had um in bali or the braids that i had for my vacation took them out yesterday and i just tied my hair up as it was i am going to the saloon right now and i'm about to do something that cannot be undone okay <laughs> you guys know that i always do my wash days at home and all of that but today we are going to the saloon so it means that something is up and i am going right now i don't want to think twice about it um you guys will see what's up when i get to the saloon but i don't know if i'll put it in the title to give it away but if not if it's not on the title already i am going to do something that cannot be undone i won't even think twice about it like i had time to think about this i've decided i'm done um it's just here at the end of the day and should i wake up one day feeling like i miss my afro i will cut it all off and start over my afro again i know that growing an afro is not a mission like it's just when you know the right thing to do so yeah should i wake up and feel like i miss my hair i am going to cut it like do the big chop start afro all over again but for now i'm going to do this one thing because i'm not ready to cut yet yeah, let me stop talking too much and head out the saloon is just less than 10 minutes away from my place so i'll be there probably 10 minutes earlier if i leave now so let's go to be honest you guys it's not the same anymore like my afro is just not the same that's why i'm going to do what i'm gonna do today because it's just not the same I need like my full puffy rich afro I don't think it's that anymore you can even see like this little bun that I did that mm, it's not giving I don't know if it's because I just um took down the braids or not but it's just not the same anymore so yeah something has to be done guys I just have to like I've given up <laughs> But I know that I'm going to miss my afro at some point. That's why I'm saying, should I wake up missing it? Don't know when. Definitely going to do it again.
just relaxed my hair and you know what I am here for it <gasps> I look so good like I look too damn good better than I expected like I was like I had forgotten how I look with relaxed hair the last time I looked like this was in 2018 during my second year just before I did the big job to start my afro or my natural hair and I had forgotten how the look is. And you know what? I'm here for it. I'm loving it. Like, yo guys, I'm so happy. It is so clean, soft, beautiful. Like, get happy, guys. Wait to get happy. Get happy. <laughs> I remember my last wash day before I went to get the braids for the vacation. I almost cried because of 
how difficult it was like getting through the wash thing but i'm not discouraging anyone i know for sure i'm gonna miss the afro and like i said earlier i am gonna go back once i feel like i'm ready for that journey again but for now this is where i am and right now i am happy this is what i want i feel so much relief already like i feel so much relief and yo even the saloon that i went to guys they are so good look at how straight this is like look at how straight it is and they're also kind enough to like give me a little hairstyle because i just went there and said i want to relax just normal plain relaxer and that guy was like shame since it's your first time let me let, let me make you look a bit nice so that you don't go out with like completely plain hair and thanks to him i did my hair at lajawi hair saloon the one in midrand by the take a lot pick up point or engine the n1 bridge if you're familiar with the place you will know what i'm talking about i am so happy and excited i'm obviously gonna continue taking care of my hair even though it is relaxed i have to follow like relaxed hair content creators and see how they do it i have to like read up on ways to take care of relaxed hair so that it can be healthy and flourishing at all times it's not that i want to or i'm going to abandon my hair or anything like that if anything i really like love hair i love looking good i feel like hair makes you just look good like it makes you stand out it's the one thing that makes a statement about you so i am still going to take care of my hair for sure i just need to like adapt from taking care of natural hair or afro to taking care of relaxed hair but yeah shem like get happy hey? get happy so this is the new look you guys won't be seeing afro anymore for now i don't know for how long but this is the new look i am so 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 excited you guys i feel beautiful also so it's currently quarter to one quarter to one um i want to go to the mall i have to grab an order that i placed a few days ago from Fashini. it is a dress that i'm wearing tomorrow to an event i'm going to a la roche posay event so i have to pick up the dress it's just a simple plain dress from Fashini. i have to or i wanna i wanna go to pick and pay also to get something to cook tonight i'm craving beef stew so i have to go to pick and pay or check our soulies to get beef stew veggies and probably lunch because i haven't had lunch i since had breakfast before i left so that is what we are left with doing today i want to take a few pictures before this hairstyle gets ruined and post for instagram baby for the gram and introduce the new look hi guys so i just got back um, my battery is about to die just want to quickly show you what i got this is what i'm gonna cook um for dinner i got a bag of tomatoes i also got some onion i got um 
sweet corn as well as carrots and then I also got short rib beef short rib this is what I sometimes prefer to make if I'm making beef stew like sometimes I just don't want the thick cut beef stew I want something thinly sliced so what I do is that I usually like cut it myself or chop it rather and make beef stew with that like I said my battery is gonna die I just wanted to quickly show you guys what I got I hope my hair will still look good it obviously won't be as good as it is now but I hope that it'll do for tomorrow <music>
went to the packing and met a very kind lady who was who is going to the same event as myself and she gave me a lift i'm waiting for her she's so crazy knock knock at home <laughs> how are you thank you so much we try
I don't even know how to vlog because there's just so much music in the background, the events. Went well. It was not too long, I'm gone. It's currently past nine. Getting ready to go home. We just had something to nibble. Still taking pictures and mingling a lot of familiar faces. I love that. Getting to meet um, our Instagram friends. So that's really lovely. Just wanted to give you guys an update. I am gonna get prepared for this, but it is what it is. Anything for my studies. Come a bit more there? Yeah. Oh, lovely. Stunning. Ah, uh, Victoria, are you eating? So yeah, Miguel. So <laughs> It was so nice. I actually don't want to go, but because I have to go go sleep. What can I say? <clears throat> Hi guys. So today is the next day. I just finished um filming a sit down video for the Bali Q and A that I had. Something looks off. Yeah, I don't know what, but the framing is not okay anyway you guys saw that yesterday we went to the la roche posey event it was so nice i enjoyed my time there i met my face my instagram faves like it was so lovely meeting all of them that is one thing i one of the things that i enjoy and appreciate about influencer events is that you get to meet people that you interact with on a daily basis people that support your content and vice versa so like getting to just mingle with one another once in a while in real life is absolutely amazing love that so we obviously got some goodies from la roche posay it is a personalized box. It has my name there, Victoria Baloyi. I don't know why they wrote Victoria Baloyi because my brand is Vicky Baloyi Child. But anyway, <laughs> I don't mind. So it's such a lovely box. I'm actually going to keep it to store some stuff. It opens like this. It has a little message there. I am not going to read this, but it's such a lovely message. It basically says that the products that are in here are specifically selected for the are specifically selected for my skin needs. So I love that it's personalized, which means that they pay attention to my skin personally, and then they've included products that they feel I need. So I'm gonna show you guys what they put in for me. Firstly, we have the La Roche Posay Pigment Clar Foaming Cream Cleanser. This range that they included here is for pigmentation. 
that is why it is for pigmentation hence the pigment class so this is a brightening foaming cream cleanser so it's a face wash and then we have the um la roche posay pure niacinamide serum we know that niacinamide does target um pigmentation as well and it's also from the same range the pigment clar range and then we have the la roche posay pigment clar uv spf 30 corrector so this is basically a face cream or a corrector or a moisturizer like your daily facial moisturizer which also like corrects pigmentation and dark spots also from the pigment club range and then lastly we have the famous la roche posay and videos 50 plus spf I am so excited for this like this SPF is so good. I did um, a campaign with La Roche Posay a few months ago a few weeks ago and they gave me like mini samples of the sunscreen and to be able to get like a proper bottle this time. Super super happy so that's it that's all we got. Thank you so much to La Roche Posay for the skincare um product i think at the moment i am going to definitely use the sunscreen let me actually take it out as well as the um, pure niacinamide serum i'm going to include this in my nighttime skincare routine just to brighten the skin a little bit you know get rid of um the pigmentation and then the face wash or the cleanser as well as the daily moisturizer i will see them another time when i feel like incorporating them onto my skincare routine and that's about it i will see you guys when you see me guys sure it is so hot like i'm starting to vlog and it's quite randomly starts but anyway, it is so hot. Um, today is a week later since I did my hair. And it's still so fresh. The hairstyle is fading day by day. But it's still so silky, fresh, um, bumpy or whatever this is. Still loving it. So like I said, well, it is a a week later after i did my hair but a few days since the last time that i saw you guys at the la roche posay event i've been bad at vlogging but it's because over the weekend i went home i went to spend some time with my mom so yeah i just wanted to like rest and do nothing and i was also studying so yeah that's why i've been mia for a few days but we are back and i think this is the last day of this vlog i'm currently at skin and laser aesthetics if you've been with me since i came back on youtube you know the place i'm here to get a facial my monthly facial we are due for a facial my appointment is at 12 it's currently eight minutes before 12 i will leave now because the last time i was here i was late so i'm not trying to be that girl again so yeah that's what we are doing today just getting a facial it's monday and i am working night shift that's why i'm currently not at work because i am working at night today so i thought let me just use my day for a few errands so on the list or on the agenda we have facial one and then two weekly grocery shopping because i didn't get to do that over the weekend i thought i'd go to the woolworths at mall of africa but i see that there's a woolworths food here so after the facial i'm just gonna go to the woolworths here and then head straight home to get some rest before my night shift so let's go get this facial and i am vlogging on my phone because the camera is heavy guys like the camera is heavy 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 so 
on some days i just take my phone you know just to cancel the admin of carrying a camera we are here Have a seat. Thank you.